Alright, many of you have been asking about artifacts, so I finally made a video. The artifact system is pretty straightforward. It's designed to give you some additional stats that you can swap around easily depending on the situation. I will cover the artifacts that I use, why I use them, and which ones I'm missing, which would be beneficial to have. So, first one is the sweep set. This is the best in slot accuracy artifact build in the game. It uses two ground and two marked light stones and gives a total of 42 all accuracy and 5% down attack damage. The downside to this set is that it also debuffs your evasion in DR. I use this set whenever I come across heavily built evasion players and typically combo it with my maneuver offhand. For players that are very evasion stacked, I even go as far as to using my accuracy offhand with this accuracy set. Steel Heart is the next set. This is a full HP set which consists of 4 Heart Light Stones. In total it grants you 450 HP. Typically run this set for extra survivability and tankiness during fights with targets that I do good damage to. Also, this is the best in slot set for capped Nodor content, so if you do T2 Nodors, I highly recommend trying it out. The third set that I use is called Savage, and it consists of 4 Rage Light Stones. This is my full AP set, and it gives plus 17 all AP. I typically use full AP artifacts for a damage boost against players that are DR based or don't have enough evasion to make me miss. Please know that this is the cheap version of full AP and for end game you'll want to run the human set which gives 24 human damage being the best in slot full AP artifact. It consists of 3 blight stones and 1 iridescent. Each blight stone costs 660 million at the time of making this video on EU making this overall set cost around 2 billion silver. My fourth set is rigid shield and is used as a full DR set. It consists of 4 iron wall light stones and creates a plus 18 damage reduction set. It's used against targets that I feel comfortable fighting without additional damage light stones. I swap around between the full HP and full DR set as I see fit. For evasion players you will either run Centaurus 48 all evasion or another set that I've heard Mooses use is the blur set. Boost your evasion and DR at the cost of losing 80% resistance. Resistance for me is a meme, so running this set isn't even a bad idea. Musa endgame PV consists of having high critical hit chance and back attacking mobs. To maximize your damage, you'll want to run the Vicious Shadow set, which consists of two predations, one shadows and one strike lightstone. It's the best in slot set for PV as it offers a mix of mob damage, more back attack damage and critical damage. However, the pricing of this set is not cheap and will require you to spend over 5 billion silver as the Strike Lightstone is currently sitting at 5 billion silver on EU. EP against classes that have an enormous mana drain on abilities, mainly Suck Mewa but also Ranger, having an artifact set for an increase in mana is very beneficial. There are two sets available to make, one being the Mind Focus set and the other Fasting. The current state of Succession Mewa's mana drain on their blooming ability, without having a sufficient mana pool equipped, you'll most likely die to mana drain, so keep this set in mind. Thank you for watching, if you liked this video make sure to leave a like and comment below if you have any questions or perhaps you have another artifact set that works for you.